This is how we adapted a uh, Razor Power Rider. Um, it's a front wheel drive drift bike. It's got the battery included in it. So this is how it comes disassembled before you assemble everything. It's a real simple way to adapt it here. This is just basically a truss clamp. It clamps on a pipe and it gives you a bolt coming out of it. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon and stuff. I took this one off of a, a walker, like a walker for you know, people to use. So basically, right on the axle, you're going to take and clamp that on. You may have to put a little bit of um, rubber tape in there to make it tighten up real well. That's one of the quickest things you could ever adapt. You're going to get that absolutely centered. And tighten that up. Real good, tight. Now, what we've also done is, and you'll see exactly where I put this, this is just a um, a U-bolt that I U-bolted on there. And this rod right here is going to rest on it, and that's going to lift the front wheels up off the ground. So, I'm going to show you how it connects stuff. This hole is going to go right through that bolt. So this goes in. It's way easier than I'm making it look. All right. That's all so we're going to come through here. Bolt comes right into that hole. And after it goes through the hole, we're going to put this other nut on. Tighten that down real good. And as you'll see right here, after I tighten this down really well, I don't have this one quite tight up, but you'll see that this U-bolt is holding this bar here. So what that's doing is it's keeping the front wheels off the ground. And now we got a power scooter. 